my friend Jeremy over there at Learning to Be Prepared got me into this company. And I have the Trident pack and I just love it. I, I pretty much have all these other packs that I've just pretty much was a waste of time and money. But I want to talk to you guys today about this organizer. This organizer is known as the PPM or the Personal Pocket Maximum Organizer. And it's perfect because so many times I'd be in my car and I would be looking for these items and they would be all over the place in the glove box and everything else. Well, it was really nice to just pull this unit out. And what I've done here, I put this little um, kind of lightning bolt on there. That tells me that these are electronic so I can grab it easy. I plan on getting a lot more of these, but let's just go through this real quick. Earbuds, I have my short uh, lightning cable for my uh, iPhone. I have the charger for this unit. Um, I don't want to really plug them, but I'm just kind of showing you the charger that I use. Whatever charger you decide. Um, more earbuds. And then I have here, of course, another charger. And uh, these are just really important. I cannot believe and I cannot stress the importance behind having these things, especially with how fast you know, our phones, our PDAs, our, our systems are just dropping. Now, you, it doesn't matter if you're an iPhone guy, an Android guy, whatever, an extra charging system is really, really nice. And of course, uh, a light. Uh, you know, I was always trying to figure out where am I gonna put this little light, you know? It's, so it's, it's just perfect right here. Um, I really like this. Now this has nothing to do with electronics, but my son gave this to me for my birthday. I just thought it was kind of cool. Ninja wing wallet, whatever. It just has so many things, but not a plug for them. But just to show you how this um, has so much utility purpose. And of course, if you want to put a little ID tag or something on there, but this is just an amazing little organizer and it's made my life so much easier. So let me just show you how this works in conjunction with my everyday carry. Okay, so this is the, the Trident 20 that uh, I just love this bag and uh, I just I have to tell you I've tried so many other bags they just ended up being such garbage but this thing is amazing but this is where I used to put my electronics in here and I have to tell you it was kind of a pain it was just so much nicer to pull that out this right here and just have this at the ready and just lay that on the seat and everything's right there but don't get me wrong, it wasn't too bad having this in here, but it's just so much nicer having it where I can pull it out. Now, let's just move over here to these main compartments. In here, this is where these would come in so useful. So I plan on getting a lot more of these. You can just kind of see how unorganized, if you can just see what's going on here. I got a baggie full of stuff. And it's not the way to go, honestly, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, I can look through it and see it, and I got a couple of things, but I plan on sticking these all along the way in here like that. Now, wouldn't that be a lot better than doing this, honestly, guys? And like I said, Jeremy over there at the Learning to Be Prepared, he does an outstanding job of breaking this bag down. So I'm not even gonna attempt to do anything. Okay, guys, the bottom line is, is that you get what you pay for. Those people at VanQuest, they just know what they're doing. I have background in aerospace engineering, designing, and I understand quality. I understand what it means to have accountability with your product, to have traceability, to have mil spec in place. These guys operate like they are manufacturing for the military because most of the stuff they build, it appears to me, it is mil spec. I don't know that for a fact, but I can just tell you the quality is outstanding. They're not paying me to say this. I'm telling you this because I've wasted a lot of money, a lot of time, with garbage, big five bags, <laughs> LA police gear bag. Don't get me wrong, LA police gear has pretty good stuff, but nowhere near this quality. Maxpedition, it's pretty decent, but I have to tell you, uh, these people blow them away. I've got a Maxpedition bag and I never use it. For what I paid for some of these, well, yeah, I could have probably bought in two of these bags. So I just wish I would have gone this route. So I just wanna make it real clear that you get what you pay for, um, these guys have, they're one step ahead of the game. They really are. Um, just the stitching and the webbing and the zippers. You know, the weak link to these things seems to always be, you know, your straps, your shoulder straps. There is no sign of wear. And I've been using this thing for well over a year. You know, quality is really important to me. It always has been. And I have to tell you, uh, my retractable screen company, I sell an American-made product that is powder-coated aircraft-grade aluminum. And I'm not telling you that to plug my business. I'm telling you that because I get a lot of people that go to Home Depot and they compare my product to theirs. They say, well, I can get it cheaper. No doubt, you can get it cheaper. 
cheaper is exactly what it is, cheaper. And if you don't do your due diligence and you really look into what you're buying, you're going to have buyer's remorse, like I have with a lot of my bags. I get people calling me all the time to do repairs on these doors. I mean, it's probably one of my biggest revenue generators, doing repairs on these really bunky, funky doors. So you get what you pay for. And they end up calling me down the road and say, hey, I'd like to replace this with your door. Sure, I'll do that for you. <laughs> Tried to tell them. Um, but anyway, so that's just the name of the game. And I'm trying to tell you guys now, you get what you pay for. So just quit messing around, buy good stuff, something that's going to hold up, great longevity, last bag you will ever buy. I'm telling you. Like my door. Anyway, hope you guys are well. Take care. Thank you so much. And a real quick cheap plug for my new business, areyoureadyfor.com. Please go check it out. Areyoureadyfor.com. Just and that is are you ready with the number four. Are you ready for number four dot com? Go check that out. And uh just trying to get rolling on that and anything you guys can offer, criticism, help, word out, anything else, I'd appreciate it. There you'll find my podcast. There you'll find my e-store, which is not stocked yet, but it's going to be soon. All right, you guys, take care. This Big T signing off. You have a great day. And remember, preparedness is something that you got to do every single day. That is, you got to pick your bag up and put it in your car. It does no good sitting at home. Uh, you never know. Just like that spare tire. We want to have that spare tire when we need it, but we don't think about it. So think about keeping your bags at the ready and think about having all of this stuff in order. All right. That's enough said. See ya. Oh.